Hi, my name is Katie Chambers. This is my first video, but I have plenty more planned, so make sure to like and subscribe. Today, I'm going to be showing you 100 things that you can do when you're bored at home. I know a lot of the states are starting to open up, but a lot of them are being re-shut down or haven't even opened yet at all. Also, a lot of schools are going to be starting online, or a lot of the events that you would be going to, like concerts and sporting events, are closed, so I know a lot of people are going to be stuck at home bored. And I think we're at the point in quarantine where you're like, I've done everything, and believe me, I'm there too. So this is just a list of a lot of stuff I've been seeing trending over quarantine as well as a bunch of out-of-the-box stuff that I've thought of myself. I realize you may have done a lot of this already or you might not have access to every single thing but I can guarantee there's at least one thing if not a hundred that you haven't done yet and that you can do. So let's get into the video. One, just call your friends, FaceTime your friends, and just see how they're doing. This is really hard for a lot of people, and I know a lot of people, myself included, have maybe not been talking to their friends as much because they've been really stressed or just sad with everything that's going on. But especially now that things are starting to open back up, you know, you don't want to lose those friendships you had before, so just see how your friends are doing. Number two, this is really obvious, just watch a new show or movie. I can make a whole video about everything I've been watching over quarantine, but some that have been trending, Avatar The Last Airbender, Tiger King, Outer Banks, Down to Earth, 365 Days, on Netflix as well as the Hamilton movie on Disney Plus. Most of them are amazing. Also my favorite movie Clueless is on Netflix, just putting that out there. I'm trying to watch all of the Oscar nominated movies from the last like two decades and I've watched about two thirds of them so far. So if you guys want recommendations, like I seriously have so many. Do a puzzle. I've definitely done quite a few over quarantine. Either sew something or embroider something. If you have a sewing machine, you can do a lot of stuff. I made this tube top from scratch and I've made a ton of scrunchies. Or if you only have hand sewing, you can do that as well. Um, I made this for my little sister's doll. It's like a skirt. And then, or you could try embroidering something. Um, I've embroidered so much. It's seriously so fun and so easy. Try knitting something. I haven't knitted in forever, but I remember it being really fun, so maybe I should try again. Buy some succulents or plants and become a plant mom. Number nine, start a YouTube channel. Read a book. I'm currently reading the new Hunger Games book. Let me know if you've read it. It's pretty good so far. Start a garden. My family started one and we have tons of different herbs and vegetables and stuff and it's just been really fun to check every once in a while and see what's growing, put them in salads, soups and stuff, and it can help you eat healthier and actually save money in the long run. Next is to develop a really good skincare routine. I got this on Amazon for like $5 and I use it to wash my face every day. These are just some of my favorite products, my oil cleanser, face wash, toner, my serums, vitamin C, niacinamide, and my moisturizer. And I also have a sunscreen because I'm so pale, but it's in my bag. If you're a guy watching this, skincare is definitely not just for girls. Anyone can get sunburnt, anyone can have acne, anyone can have dry skin, so you should definitely also have, you have cut or dye your hair, I personally did both. I have very naturally dark hair, and even though I have them swept aside, I did cut bangs. So, um, yeah, here's a video of me bleaching my naturally dark hair. And here's a video of a very bad decision. We're just, we're just not gonna talk about it. Um, we're just not gonna I've talk about it. I've seen people, like, shaving their head and stuff, or, like, giving themselves pixie cuts, and, like, that's cool. Rock on. Dye it a crazy color, like, when else are you gonna have the time where, like, barely anyone's gonna see you, you know what I mean? Like, just... Do it. Get an eyebrow slit. I'm too afraid to do this, but I think it looks really cool. Something I really recommend trying is the viral whipped Dalgona coffee. It's so good. Just crazy because it's only instant coffee, water, and sugar. I'm just whisking by hand until it gets a little thicker, then I'm going to switch to the power mixer. You'll know that it's done when it starts to look like peanut butter, and you can totally whisk by hand. It'll just take way longer, so I recommend using a power mixer. Fill a glass with ice and your milk of choice and pop it on top. Or just make yourself regular coffee or tea. I love using this French press. I just think it tastes better than the Keurig, even though the Keurig is convenient. Sometimes I'll make lattes and stuff. Okay, so the next thing that I recommend is just to take a long, relaxing bath. Sometimes you just need to take a step back and take a little moment for yourself just to relax, and that is perfectly okay. Maybe you want to listen to some music, watch some Netflix, or put on a candle or something. Just create an experience that you know is going to be really relaxing for yourself because it's really important to take self-care days every once in a while and this is one of my favorite ways to do it. I just feel so peaceful. You guys should definitely do Another this. great relaxation self-care thing to do is to do a face mask. I love doing sheet masks, but if you want one that is like on your face, the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask is the best. You can also do peel-off ones, but my skin is a little too sensitive for that. Um, also a hair mask if your hair is like bleached. This is the Moroccan Gold Series Treatment Mask, and it smells so good. It has argan oil. It makes my hair so soft. 
while you have the mouse on read a magazine or something a lot of magazines also have online articles that you can read for free this is just to try out one of these adult coloring books they're basically just like kid coloring books but they're really intricate another really fun but totally unnecessary thing is to download a closet app like this one smart closet it's really fun to take pictures of all your clothes and remove the background and stuff you can keep track of how much of a certain color or a certain brand you have and how often you wear it um i used to keep track of everything i wore during the school year i haven't done anything in a while though but it's just really fun also go in and organize your real closet as you can see i organized it by color even the hangers i've got my shirts dresses jackets sweaters skirts i have a dresser over here with like my tank tops and jeans and stuff and yeah i used to hate putting away clothes but now that it's organized i really love it so you should organize your closet too while you're at it might as well make a pile to donate bring to goodwill marie condo that not just clothes you stuff just too go online shopping since it's not fully safe to go in person shopping yet i know if i were to show you everything that i bought online during quarantine it would be scary <laughs> i might do a separate video about that but even if you don't have the money you can go window shopping i know i go window shopping on like designer stores i will never be able to purchase from all the time. I love ThreadUp, which is an online thrift store, as well as The Real Real, which is an online consignment store. ShopTagger is great. It notifies you when items go on sale. And Honey is great. It gives you promo codes. So yeah, there's just so many resources you can use, and it's just so fun. As I was going back and editing, I realized it's also important to encourage you to support local businesses as well as Black-owned businesses. Especially with everything going on, they might be hurting. So just keep that in mind when you're online shopping, that you should check your area to see if there's any small local-owned businesses you can support. Get a tie-dye kit and tie-dye a shirt. Bleach dyeing is also a huge trend, but I haven't personally tried it myself yet. Learn a new language on Duolingo. I'm currently doing Spanish for school, but I tried French last summer. You're not going to be fluent, but you're going to know enough to do a basic conversation, and I definitely recommend it. Or take an online class. Skillshare is a bunch, and you can get two months free. I'm currently taking some through the state so I can get high school credit, so that's an option too, but you can totally learn a lot. Another super obvious one, I know, but if you have a pool in your backyard or if you live near a beach or a lake, go for a swim or a float. Play a board game. These are two of my personal favorites. Or a mobile game. Or a video game. My favorite is Minecraft, but I know a lot of people like Roblox, Fortnite, Call of Duty. There's just tons that you can get on Xbox, PlayStation, your computer, and some of them are even free. Grab a palette and do some makeup art. I don't know about you, but when I do my makeup, it is just like so calming and I feel just like so much more ready to start the day and I just feel so much more confident and yeah. Or do something a little more crazy. I got a little out of hand. While you're at it, you might as well wash those makeup brushes. You should be washing them like every week or two. But if you're anything like me, it takes several months. Make a mood board, either in a scrapbook or on a cork board or something. This is really embarrassing, but this is the one that I made in January before I knew what 2020 was really going to be like. Listen to some music and make a playlist. I usually use Apple Music, but I also have a Spotify, and I just have a bunch of different playlists for different moods and different times and stuff. You can also listen to comedians on Apple Music and Spotify. I love John Mulaney. I also really like Jim Gaffigan and Ellen DeGeneres. Or get the free podcast app. My favorite is Pretty Basic by Alicia Marie and Remy Ashton, but there's a bunch or of great ones. you can make ones. yourself a smoothie or a milkshake. I love to make berry smoothies. You can add protein powder or something if you want. I love chia seeds. It's also great to make a smoothie bowl, add some granola or fresh fruit. Write your own song and post it on TikTok, YouTube, SoundCloud. Comment down below if you wrote your own. Read poetry, either online or in a book, or even better, write your own. This one's super vague, but do that thing that I know you're avoiding, whether that be cleaning something out, doing something for work, doing homework or something. There's something that you've been avoiding but you need to do, so just get it over with. Learn how to do really cool braids so that when everything goes back to normal, you'll look so put together. It's summer, it's hot out, you're probably dehydrated. Drink some water. Pierce your own seconds. Just make sure everything's sterile so it doesn't get infected. A couple more obvious ones. If you have a basketball hoop, go play basketball. If you have a ping pong table, go play ping pong. You get my quarantine idea. Quarantine journal. Not only talk about what you do, but how you feel about it. Years later, you can look back at this. Who knows? Hundreds of years from now, this could be a primary source in a history textbook. While you're at it, try and improve your handwriting. I've always had terrible handwriting, and I'm trying to take this time to improve it. Or you could teach yourself cursive if you've never learned. You could even try calligraphy if that's something you're into. Try and learn a TikTok dance. Hopefully you're better than me. Ballet dancers, try and learn La Esmeralda sequence. Jazz dancers, try and learn that combo from a chorus line. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not a good enough dancer for either. If you have access to a body of water, go fishing. Learn coding on CodeHS, or you can use the free program Scratch to make your own video games. It's super easy drag and drop coding. My 10 year old sister has made tons of games on there. Go on Pinterest and plan your dream wedding, quince, bar mitzvah, sweet 16. Make your own Play-Doh or Salto as it's called. I remember doing this in elementary school and it was so much fun. If you're as pale as me, maybe try using some self-tanner. Or go outside and try and get a real one. Just make sure you wear sunscreen. Go and have a little photo shoot. Be really creative. Use what you have in your house and post it on your Instagram. Do one of those artsy mirror photo shoots in your backyard. Or do the Vogue challenge. 
I did a ton of photo shoots with my family over quarantine, but my favorite ones were these monochromatic ones as well as recreating paintings. I realized that it's more fun if you have a family that's willing to do it, but you could also do it by yourself. Find a new aesthetic. This is me trying out Soft Girl, Visco Girl, and Instabaddy. Cook something or bake something. These are some of my beautiful creations from quarantine. The next few things are just kind of active things that you can be doing. So the number one thing is just to work out. This is our chance to glow up. No one's been seeing us. No one will be seeing us for a while. So take this time to really work on yourself. I've been doing the Chloe Tang ab workout challenge. Don't have abs yet, but we'll see. Or if you have some sort of an exercise equipment, you can use that. Like if you have an elliptical or a treadmill, I have this trusty stationary bike. I've been trying to do 10 miles a day. Or you can just on. go for an actual bike ride or an actual run outside or a hike in a local park. Or you can try yoga. And also remember that mental health is just as important as physical health. So something you can do along with it is meditation. Earn money by taking surveys on Swagbucks. I've made $50 over quarantine. Play trivia games. I love using Sporkle. My favorite one basically just gives you a map and you have to name all 196 countries in the world. Took me a week to memorize it. See if you can beat my time. Paint your nails, try intricate nail art, or try Read fake nails. Newspaper. And while you're at it, maybe try the crossword. Clean your room. Let me tell you, before I cleaned this, there was literally clothes everywhere. It looked like a pile of garbage. I am so glad I cleaned it. Or you can rearrange and like redecorate your room. I just showed you the before after I cleaned it, but as I was filming that, I was like, I kind of want to redo it. So I got new lights, got rid of the um, chair, and just, yeah, here is the after. As you can see, my vanity is now over there. I got that natural light. I got some LED lights. If you don't want to clean your whole room, I'm sure you've got some sort of shelf or closet or drawer, a junk drawer, if you will, that you can clean out, so go do that. Try and learn a new instrument. I'm trying to learn piano. Comment down below if you recognize the song. Hint, it's from a musical. Learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I can't find mine, so I can't show you, but at one point I could solve it in like a minute and a half. Still pretty slow, but it's something. Do some sort of like arts and crafts. I love doing origami, especially if you have younger siblings. Or you can work on your sketching. I'm really trying to make my faces more realistic. I know I'm like a terrible artist, but I'm trying or to Or you could paint something. You don't even need canvases. You could just do it on paper. Next we have just to get dressed up for the heck of it, especially since all the fancy events have been canceled. It might be fun to do like a fancy dinner with your family or a fancy tea party with siblings. Go on a picnic, either in a local park or even just in your backyard. You can even go camping in your backyard. I used to do this all the time when I was younger. It's really fun and it's actually more safe than actually going Write to camp. Write a letter or email to someone who influenced you. It could be a teacher, a bus driver, or even a parent. Or you could start like a pen pal type thing. These few things are kind of like bonus items, but honestly, if you do anything in this video, do the next couple things because it's so important. Do something to make a difference. Sign petitions. Go on change.org and look for issues that you care about. Sign up to receive emails from Color of Change. Or you can donate if you have the money, even if it's just a little bit. Feeding America, the Trevor Project, um, bail funds, and really anything for Black Lives Matter. You might not think that you can make a difference, but you can. So yeah, thank you for watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I have a lot of content planned out. I hope you found something that you can do. And good luck with quarantine. <laughs>